How's it going? I guess we're starting this video off at 7 past 12 a.m. I never ever am awake usually this late, but I've just, I got back from my mum's and visiting my brothers, you know, at like 10, half 10, and I just ate dinner. Bit of a hectic day, but yeah, I'm just gonna read some of this and fall asleep. Ultra running. Anything further than a marathon is an ultra marathon, an ultra run. And once I finish this book, That'll be about six, 700 pages on ultra running. And I've still got 250 more in another book. And yeah, I'll let you in on a little secret. Ultra running is something I want to get into. I'm being more and more convinced while reading these books that it is what the human body is made to do. So yeah, that'll be an interesting one. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna read this and sleep and, and yeah, you'll see me in the morning, so yeah. All right, quarter past nine, I've been up for a while and what a lovely view to wake up to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab some breakfast and I'll show you what I eat, but I finished that book yesterday, essentially with the idea of these marathon monks in Japan who run a marathon for a thousand days. Sounds crazy, right? <sighs> And some place of like dairy free spread, awesome. And a little bit of soy milk for the tea. So essentially the reason these marathon monks run a marathon for a thousand days is they say after a certain point, everything breaks down. Your mind, your body, your ego, whatever layers you have as a human, as an identity, as a an awareness, I guess. All those different layers, they all break down and they say something cosmic comes and fills the place. Which is a very interesting idea because even reading these books about average marathon runners, right? They, they say a similar thing. They get into a flow state. They get into a state of just moving, focusing on the present, not thinking, oh, I'm 50 miles in, I've got another 70 to go because that is heartbreaking. They simply get into the present moment and run. And there's something simplistic about it and perhaps even animalistic. But I'll talk to you about that after I talk to you about my breakfast. So what is here? Brown, multi-seed bread. High in fiber, high in protein, um, complex carbohydrates keep you you know, going throughout the day. We got some dairy-free spread on there, low in saturated fats. Um, I'll put a little bit of dairy-free chocolate spread on because, you know, you got to live life. And, um, yeah, just a little bit of brown sugar in my tea with some soy milk. So, yeah, decent protein, good complex carbs, um, low saturated fat, looking good. If any of you start your day the same way, let me know. Because I have a feeling that tea and toast is just a British thing. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to chuck on probably like a podcast or something, uh, an interview on my laptop and just, yeah, watch that with some breakfast. So animalistic desires and running. Supposedly we are made to run from the elastic -y, you know, Achilles tendon in our ankle to, you know, help preserve energy while we run to the glutes that help us stand upright, etc, etc. You can read up on it. It is quite an interesting um, concept. And so the idea goes that every time in human history that there is a big social issue, such as the Great Depression or 9-11, which literally change the Western world as we know it, there are huge booms in popularity in running, um, which they do line up very well. And the idea goes that we are made to run, it is in our DNA, that it's it's, you know, a genetic trait more so than an environmental one. Obviously, they both play roles, but essentially, when there are issues with, you know, society, like I was saying, the Great Depression or 9-11 or and things like this, then we want to run more. We run from our issues. We run from the danger. And it's an interesting concept that it arises something animalistic, almost comforting. Personally, I can't say that I've experienced something to the level myself when running, 
But now I'm getting back into it. Barefoot running, by the way, not with shoes, because that's just terrible for you. But now I'm getting back into it. I'm going to explore it. And I'm definitely going to document it alongside other things on this channel. So yeah, let me know what you think. And until next time.